Hey everybody, welcome to Dogs FPV channel. Um, today I'm going to make a quick video and go over some things in the beta flight that I discovered on my Tiny Hawk Freestyle. If any of you watched the video, which I felt that it smoothed out my flying ability pretty good with that by just lowering down some rates and changing a couple of things in it. And uh, I decided to go ahead and make this video as well in case anybody wanted to see what I did. toward the new people coming into the hobby and just messing around with beta flight and if you bought the tiny hawk freestyle and you enjoy flying it with the uh, 21s battery strap to it as i did the uh, the rates were a little bit high for me it was a little bit squirrely and a little bit hard to handle at times so i think that lowering the rates for me helped out tremendously and this could possibly work on some other quads i haven't tested it i've got it loaded up in three other quads so that i'm going to take out and get some test flights on those to see how they work with the exact same rates on them but uh, for the tiny hawk freestyle i think it definitely was an improvement for me by just simply lowering down some rates and uh, making a couple little tweaks in beta flight without getting into the pids and all that because i really know nothing about that i was just messing with the rates and i want to show you what i did and if this video helped you out any at all hit that like button and leave your comments below and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet uh, all your support is definitely appreciated um, all your comments i appreciate so what we're going to do is go ahead and open up your beta flight and connect to your quad and uh, as you can see in my setup it's it's basically the same your ports i didn't do anything there configuration tab um, the only thing that i would suggest and what i done in mine is everything you know the d shot 600 set correctly i've got got it set up here not you know to go ahead and spin the motors up uh, when i arm it um, i changed want to change this to 180 degrees um, that is one thing you definitely want to change on that um, it's eight and eight on the uh, gyro and the pid loop that stays the same and all of this is the way it came i did uh i think i clicked on the air mode permanently enabled it but other than that um i turned this off right here so it wouldn't be beeping when i got plugged into usb so, save that. go ahead and reconnect i bumped that up to 4.5 i dropped this down to 3.2 i don't know why that was set there it should be i believe at 3.3 save that Fail safes uh, was set up from the factory. The receiver tab, when you click on it, um, I did make a couple of small changes here. I added RC dead band. I had that 8 and 8 on both. So we'll leave that set 8 and 8. Then I went down on modes. I took uh, disarmed or disabled the, uh, the horizon mode. I left the angle mode. The arm, the beeper, and the flip over after crash. And I set that up through my Tyrannus Q7. Then on my OSD, I took everything off and I just allowed the cell voltage and the total battery voltage on me. We'll go back up into the PID tuning. Now, profile one and rate profile um, one. This is your PID tuning for the profile. And this was stock. I didn't do anything with the bids here at all. None of this was changed by me. This is the way it came. I did go into in the rate profile. As you can see, this is where I made my changes. This is right here. If I go rate profile 2 is set up like that. That was factory. And these are all higher rates than what I have, as you can see. So I started out with rate profile 1. And as you can see right here, where everything's set at, then you can kind of see what I changed on the rates profile page when I go back to it. So when I go back to rate profile one, first thing I changed is I left these right here at one and I cut this down to 50. Okay, then I went over here to super rate. I did 0 0.60, 0 0.40, and 0 0.60 on that. I added some RC Expo and I'm running about 20% um, RC Expo on the roll and pitch. I'm running. 0.27 on the yaw. This gives you the velocity um, in degrees right here, and you can see how much that's lowered it down. Also, I went to the TPA. I went from 50 down to 10. I went from 1500 up to 1650. I brought my throttle mid. I took it up to 35, and I actually put 
50 expo in there which gives you a nice curve about center of where this thing is gliding along at it is about 35 percent where i was running it at so it kind of puts a nice little curve in there it gives you a little bit more precise of the uh, throttle there and by lowering these it took and straightened out and flattened out this curve made it a lot more softer right here in the middle the only thing that i have to get used to is the roll rate and the flip rate which to me for the freestyle that i like to do i don't feel that i need to spin at a thousand degrees um, and the velocity on that uh, unless you want to make some crazy spins if you want something more floaty and and flowy I think the lower rates it will work out just fine. So after you change all this, make sure you go ahead, always hit save before you do anything. So you save all your work right there. Um, anything else I've done to this? Um, I think that was pretty much it. I went to, uh, like I said, set your power up, um, your PID tuning, make sure you do the rates only. If you don't know anything about this, I would highly recommend to stay away from this part. Um, if you screw this up, for whatever reason you don't like the way it flies you can always click back you can take a screenshot of it before you do it or whatever and you can click back to the original and reset it back to all stock rates um, you can set the, the rate um, the profiles back um, just for safety sakes you can always uh, go ahead and do a screenshot of that thing and, and that way before you do it you know what you had set at and you can move it back if, it, if this is not for you um, if you're new like me and it seems a little bit squirrely for you you might try these rates and see how that works so if this video helped you and i hope it did leave me some feedback some comments below and like i said i hope you enjoyed the video and you can check out the uh, rates do matter video i got where i'm flying this at the rates i've got and i think it worked out pretty well give me your comments your uh, hit that like button if you haven't subscribed yet please do and thanks for joining me at dogs fpv until next time um, happy flying.